single story art style commercial. Let's take a look at how to ventilate this building. Notice how the crew stays close to the low bearing wall, sounding for sure footing in a truss. Place an indicator hole along your path of travel. This will allow the ventilation crew to monitor interior fire conditions. Once a truss is found, the crew travels to the peak of the roof. The initial ventilation hole should be placed just past the peak of the roof in order to expend your cuts towards your ladder. Here is a center rafter louver on an arch truss. The sawyer begins by cutting with the top of the bar, finding the first rafter. The saw will then change direction, rolling one rafter and stopping at the next. The sawyer will then perform a parallel cut to form a seven. A second parallel cut is next, followed by the base cut, rolling one rafter. This forms the L. Let's watch our crew perform a 7 and L center rafter louver. When performing this cut, try to start at the highest point to relieve a greater amount of heat and smoke. The ventilation method for a bridge truss is the same as the arch style roof. We are showing the 7 and L center rafter louver, working towards your ladder. Now let's expand a center rafter louver against construction. Once you have a ventilation hole in place, you will start by using a head cut rolling one rafter, and now make your parallel cut. On the opposite side, input a parallel cut followed by a base cut rolling one rafter. Here's an example of expanding against construction. The expanding of a ventilation hole is to get the desired size of hole to release the proper amount of heat and smoke. Now we're going to talk about trenching an arch style roof. Trenching any roof is typically a defensive operation. The trench requires that some sort of ventilation has been done. The most crucial decision is to decide where to start. The trench should be close to finish by the time fire reaches it. Notice how the crews work from one side to another, ending on the same side as their ladder placement. The Sawyers are using a 7 and L technique in this operation. 